Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'd like to talk about how you can use a horizontal bar chart to make your point. Imagine that you are the head of guest services at Warm Winds, a fictional all-inclusive resort located in the South Pacific, catering to high-end clients. The peak tourism season has just finished, and you will meet with the resort's general manager to review the results of an online survey that guests complete after their stay. The survey is based on the SurfQual, which examines five dimensions of service quality. These dimensions are assurance, the knowledge and the courtesy of employees, and their ability to convey trust and confidence, empathy, the provision of caring and individualized attention to customers, reliability, the ability to perform the promised service dependably and accurately, responsiveness, the willingness to help customers and provide prompt service. And finally, tangibles, the appearance of physical facilities, equipment, personnel, and communication materials. Initially, you prepared a bar chart that shows the guest ratings for each dimension. On the top of the chart is the title, Warm Winds Surf Qual Ratings Summer 2021. In parenthesis, you also included the number of guests who completed the survey so that the general manager can assess how well this group of people represents the total number of people who stayed at the warm winds. With a total of 2,425 guests during the summer season, you have a response rate of 83.3%. At the bottom of the chart, the source of the data is guest services. You also listed the five dimensions of service quality along the x-axis, and the four-point Likert scale that the guests used along the y-axis. Consistent with previous years, guests rated assurance, empathy, reliability, and tangibles extremely high. However, responsiveness did not meet expectations. Considering the lack of space on the x-axis, you decided to use a horizontal bar chart to examine the four items that focus upon the responsiveness of the warm winds staff. These items are now listed on the y-axis, while the four-point Likert scale is moved to the x-axis. The updated title of the chart also reflects the more specific focus of the analysis. Now you're ready to prepare a three-part description and analysis of the customer's feedback. Based upon an 83.3% response rate, 2,021 guests of the Warm Winds Resort expressed high levels of satisfaction with our tangibles as well as our service in terms of assurance, empathy, and reliability. Guest receptions of our responsiveness, however, did not meet expectations with an average rating of 2.8. This executive summary includes the customer response rate, their perceptions of the five dimensions of service quality, as well as the dimension requiring further investigation. Including the average customer rating of 2.8 also strengthens the case that some kind of action needs to be taken. Now we're ready to move on to the second part of the description and analysis. An inspection of the four items focusing upon service responsiveness shows that our guests did not feel that the warm wind staff provided prompt service with an average rating of 2.1. Moreover, the staff seem to be too busy to provide prompt service with an average rating of 1.8. Yet, our guests had more positive perceptions of our staff's willingness to provide assistance at 3.6 and their ability to explain exactly when services would be performed at 3.7. The second part of the data description immediately pinpoints the source of the problem. Guests of the Warm Winds Resort believe that the staff are too busy to provide prompt service. Yet it's also important to point out where the staff are excelling. With the relevant numbers in hand, it's time to suggest a plan of action. Considering the expense and the distance traveled to stay at the Warm Winds Resort, our guests greatly value their time with us and expect to have their issues and needs met immediately. This week, all of our line managers should talk to their staff to identify areas where we can improve how we deliver our service. These discussions may lead to training sessions to ensure that the Warm Winds Resort continues to be our guests' favorite travel destination. In summary, a horizontal bar chart can be a very effective means of providing a fine-grained analysis of a data set.
Moreover, its analytical power can be enhanced by combining it with a line chart. The resulting combo chart could show, for example, how ratings from this year's guests compare to the previous year, which would be a very visual way to track the delivery of exceptional customer service at the Warm Winds Resort. Phew! After creating three types of charts for the general manager of the Warm Winds Resort, I think I'm ready to head back to the South Pacific for a relaxing getaway. But before I do, thanks for your time and I look forward to talking about another way to visualize data so that you can make your point.